Hey there, in this video, we're gonna be diving into High Level's exciting conversation AI and explore how you can train your bots to respond to questions about your business. First, a quick overview of Conversation AI's features. It's all controlled in a sub-account settings inside the Conversation AI tab. Now we have two main options within the preferences, suggestive mode and autopilot mode. Suggestive mode works by offering you AI generated responses to customer queries inside of the conversations tab. Every time a message comes in, you'll be presented with three options, which you can then edit and adapt to make sure that you've got the best response before clicking send. This really just speeds up the entire communication flow with end users. Uh, imagine you've got a massive product database or you work in a really technical industry. Say this bot is for an accountancy firm. If, you, if you've implemented your bot in the live chat widget and a technical accountancy question comes in that requires a bit of research to find the answer for, maybe the info is, is like stored on a web page somewhere that could take ages to find. If you've trained the bot on your website, you'll be able to, it, it'll be able to find that information for you and present it to you so you can use it in your reply. So that's really useful. The autopilot mode is exactly that the ai bot will respond automatically to any questions it's asked which if you work in any brick or brick and mortar industries and are open to the public fielding those what time are you opening until today questions on autopilot well that's just a dream come true you can select the channels you want the bot to operate in currently oh, we've got uh, instagram facebook sms google business profile chat and high levels sms chat widget and the new live chat widget too you can select as many or as few as you want obviously the two widgets need placing on your website in order for them to be accessible to the public with the autopilot mode you can also change how quickly the bot responds to questions you can set this in uh, minutes and seconds set this too quickly and it becomes really obvious that it's not a bot and people do ask questions in multiple messages so a slight delay gives the ai the opportunity to respond with all the information the end user has inputted you can also set the uh, maximum messages that the bot can send uh, currently the most is 25 and you would hope that a customer's question will have been resolved within that many messages so this really is a, a fallback to prevent anyone abusing the system and trying to start a lengthy debate with your bot about politics or religion. This is a useful feature. And to be honest, if they're asking that many questions uh, and they haven't accepted the bot's prompt to contact the business, well, they're probably a tire kicker anyway. Now to train the bot, there are three methods. The first is to feed the bot URLs from your website. So for this demo, we're gonna be training the bot on this page, which offers social media posting as a service. It's got some details on the service, uh, pricing at the bottom and some FAQs as well. If I copy the URL of that page and head over and paste it in here, there's actually a, a drop down here. So uh, as you can see, <clears throat> three options, uh, exact URL, is exactly that. Uh, the bot is only gonna read that page and no others. All URLs within the path, uh, say for example, if I had multiple pages based on social media services, uh, say I had URLs for social media advertising, social media posting, if I um, input that particular URL, the bot would crawl all the URLs that begin in that way. So this is, this is kind of really good for WordPress sites or any sites that have a folder structure in place. And finally, we've got all URLs in this domain. So you just enter in the root domain and the bot would go and read every single page on the website. For now, we're just gonna train one page. So I'm just gonna click get data, let the bot do its thing. Once complete, you can see we've got this green trained tick here and a date that it was accessed. If I were to go and update that page now, I'd need to come back and refresh uh, this particular feed so the bot would pick up any new information added to that page. So let's head on over to the bot trial and see what it's learnt. So looking at the FAQs of this particular page, we've got a uh, top one here is, can I still post to my own social media account? I'm just gonna copy that for reference. And I'm gonna paste this 
question into the bot, see what it responds. Yep, that seems pretty accurate. That's pretty good. Um, what else can we test it on? It, with FAQs, the bot will sort of automatically understand these are going to be questions and pick them up. Let's try something a little bit more taxing. I've got a very good feeling it's not going to know this. Yeah. So for this example, I'm presuming, because basically these are not necessarily connected information, the bot won't be able to put all of this into sort of a, a, a complete understanding of a single package because it's just a series of headlines and text that are separate. So what we need to do is just return to the bot and you see you've got a thumbs up here if it gives a good answer. So we can thumbs up that one because it was a pretty good answer. But for this, we're going to thumbs down. And what we need to do then to train the bot is to update the actual bot with the real answer. And once you click the train bot button, it will save that information and it will add it to its own internal FAQ system. So I just want to show you that now. If we head on back to bot training. As you can see down here, we've got a bunch of uh, frequently asked questions. So that is the question, that is the updated question that was asked earlier. What you need to do is for any tricky questions, anything that's unusual, anything that's not going to be blazingly obvious, you need to come in and you need to start uh, entering. I, I would imagine that the bot probably isn't likely to pick up what your phone number is unless you actually write in a bit of text somewhere, our phone number is. And then just click save, and that'll be added to the FAQs. Just give it a quick refresh and you'll see it appear. And there you go. There's our two questions. Ideally, you're gonna have to sort of, unless you've been absolutely thoroughly thorough within the content of your website, you still will need to add in a lot of Q and A's. The bot's not gonna be able to understand absolutely everything. And there's gonna be curveballs thrown at it at times. So updating this can be super useful. It's also really good as well, because you'll be able to sort of spot queries that people ask to understand that you need to put this information on your website anyway, for example. So um, this, is, this is kind of helpful really. One method to get around this, and this is one of the three players to train the bot, is that you can actually supply it with Google Docs as well. So if I just head on over to Google Drive, you can see I've entered in the pricing in a more palatable format for the bot to read. So, so with that saved like that, I just need to come over here, click the share button, and just make sure that it's open to anyone with the link, which means the bot is gonna be able to access it then copy the link, head on back over into high level and under exact URL here again, we're gonna post in the URL of our Google Doc and just click get data. Once again, the bot will access the page, read it and fingers crossed, it's gonna be able to tell me the information I need. Okay, perfect, there's a green tick. Let's head on back over to bot trial. And I'm gonna just paste in my question here. How much does your advanced package cost? Perfect. So the bot has then picked up the information from the Google Doc and is able to answer the question correctly. So there you have it. A, the Conversation AI bot, it's only as good as the information that you feed it. So you need to make sure that you predict any frequently asked questions, anything that might trip the bot up and either insert them into a Google Doc, have them somewhere on your website in an easily readable format, or you can just add them into the Q&As down here as well. That is how you train the Conversation AO bot to answer questions on your website.